For those of you who have heard similar viewpoints espoused by similar people, let me tell you this. That kind of lethal ignorance, that kind of viewpoint that disparages black people, number one, that condescends and talks down to us, number two, that draws specious, spurious parallels between white racism and black racism. Racism presupposes the ability to control a significant segment of the population economically, politically, and socially by imposing law, covenant, and restriction on their lives. Black people ain't had no capacity to do that. Can we be bigoted? Yes. Can we be prejudiced? Yes. Racist? No. The unintelligence of the formulation is problematic when any black person says that. Number three, when black people began to spew this notion that 96% of black people are racist because we vote for a black candidate, suggests that all white people who vote for all white candidates are therefore also unavoidably racist. By that logic, everybody in the world is racist and it balances out, doesn't it? It makes no sense. It is illogical and irrational to its core. What we see when we hear these kinds of comments are lethal self-hatred, the denial of the humanity to black people that we see reflected in the dominant white society, refracted through the prism of our own black lives. Unmolested by enlightenment, such people are peripatetic, that is, walking around virtuous, not in terms of their virtue, but virtuous, virtual expressions of degraded self-hatred. I feel sorry. I feel horrible when I'm in the presence of such mean-speaking, ignorance-spewing, uh, incredibly cantankerous viewpoints that don't honor the integrity, the beauty, the diversity, the complexity, and the wondrous, rapturous intelligence of black people. That's why I hang with black folk all the time, because I know better than that. You heard?